guys, it's Cassie. Welcome to my channel if you're new. Welcome back if you're a seasoned subscriber. Today, I'm going to be doing my luxury haul of everything that I bought when I went to New York over Christmas. We have a range of items. I like to go for stuff that's maybe a little bit harder to get in the UK or is so much cheaper in the US than it is in the UK. Just, you know, I like to keep things a little bit different, a little bit exciting, a little bit unexpected. Guys, if you are new here, my name is Cassie. I'm a self-diagnosed luxury addict. I put out videos on Wednesdays and Fridays sometimes Mondays so if you like luxury fashion then you're probably gonna love it here on this channel so head down there subscribe turn on the bell join our luxury addicted family when are we going to rehab never guys are you ready let's get into it okay everything will be linked below starting off with this sweater that I am wearing so it is a cropped um, sweater kind of thing. The turtleneck, the mock neck is huge and I think that in itself gives such like a different interesting vibe. I did get this in a size large as you would have seen in my um, New York shopping vlog. So I wanted a more like oversized, I wanted the crop to fall a little bit lower on the body and not so much like high and like hey here's my belly situation you know. So um, you have Alexander Wang New York kind of embroidered onto the front there. I love me some Alexander Wang. Um, it's really not a huge brand in the UK and it is so much cheaper in New York than it is in the UK. So easy to style. I really wanted a piece that was, you know, just like a great everyday but is a little bit different. The cut is interesting. So love this top. The other thing that I got from Alexander Wang was, I mean, I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, you're adorable and I must have you. This is the cutest little satin I like to call this like my little lunch bag, you know, and she is just so there is like a magnetic closure in here so that she stays looking fine. Okay, it's got Alexander Wang in New York again stitched into the front there. She's got little metal metal feet so that you don't scratch her up or you know dirty her in any way. This is a satin. It literally has like the little spiky bits at the top like a little paper bag. I just love the whole vibe of this. It's literally a hole inside. They do do this in other colours. So they do it in like a hot pink. They do it in a glorious champagne. Annoyingly, I got this from the Alexander Wang like flagship store in Soho and the only colour they had was black. Um, I'm not mad about it. If I had a choice, I would literally have gone for any other colour. But either way, like the vibe is there. The moment is being had. I just mean like what a cute little flex. Oh, okay, so I wanna talk about something very, very, um, this is a brand I have never heard of. So this brand is called Scanlan Theodore, and this is an Australian brand, shout out to the Aussies. Okay, so my mum went in there because it looked very like work wary. I really wasn't expecting to find anything, and then I saw this blazer and I was like, let me try her on. Kid you not. The first thing my mum said to me was, that's better than a Balmain blazer on you. And I wholeheartedly agree. Okay, so this was like, again, I think this was like $650. It is this glorious, like, knit, but the way it just fits and just hugs the body is perfection. Chef's kiss, okay? It just looks incredible. And this is one of those pieces that you can dress up or down. This I wanna wear with jeans and just like a super casual look. Black turtleneck. You know me in a black turtleneck. Honestly, it's a love affair, truly. Wow, just she's thick and hugging you. And just everything you would want from a tailored blazer, she is. So Scanlan Theodore, shout out to you. The next group of stuff is stuff that I picked up at Saks, honestly. I had a wonderful time at Saks. It is my favorite American department store at the moment. Um, I don't know, they just, um, I was just finding everything I loved in there. So, I saw this, you would have seen this in my New York vlog. This incredible cropped Nanushka jacket, okay? And I've seen Nanushka online with their like longer version of this jacket, um, of this kind of jacket and all of that. And I was like, yeah, she cute. And then when I was there in real life and I touched this, okay. So this is, um, it was marketed to me as vegan leather. Let's be, it's just fake leather, okay? We don't need to call it vegan leather, faux leather, anything, okay? It's sodding fake leather, okay? But I'm not bothered because let me tell you, this bitch is buttery soft, okay? Like, I find myself just touching it randomly throughout the day. I in never in a million years would have questioned if this wasn't leather, 
Wow, I don't know how they've done it, I really don't know how, but I am absolutely loving it. The inside is kind of a satiny coating, which is kind of annoying to me, only because like, you know, you can see these little threads start to form from when it rubs on your clothes inside, but it's it's the inside, nobody's seeing the inside. Um, I just live for this vibe. She is mm, glorious, really levels up a look. That's actually in an extra small, so you can see how oversized it is in general. Wow, what a woman, truly. Up levels a look. That, the most simple of outfits, just put that on and all of a sudden you look like a fashionista that thought about her look, you know? So again, we love those kinds of pieces. It's the next thing I actually got from Saks. As we know, I was on a hunt for denim, America, the birthplace of denim, why not? Um, and these were actually on sale. So you would have seen in my vlog that I bought, oh, let me just show those now. I bought two pairs of jeans from Nordstrom and I got the Frame La High Skinny black jeans. Super soft, super comfortable. You feel like you could run a marathon in them. Would you know? Would I ever run a marathon in general? No. These are the Paige Margot Torrance, Margot Ultra Skinny. Both of these brands are very true to size. I am a 27, both got these in 27. Loving life. Anyway, in Saks, when their sales started on Boxing Day, I was like, let me see what's happening in the sales. And I noticed, a pair of frame la high skinny so this is exactly the same style as my black ones but in a classic blue and honestly you can't go wrong you can't go wrong with having a few pairs of jeans that make your ass look like it is pert and up there and like little peach like a juicy ass peach and that is all we really ask from our jeans you know if we are talking about sales and mother effing deals i got the deal of the century at Saks the thing Balmain I love the embellished Balmain mini dresses but I'm just like not at a place in my life where my priority is spending like 2,000 on an embellished mini dress because let's be honest we all know I am an anti-social hermit so where would I wear that to but if you're gonna be on sale for a very decent price and you're in my size and you just hug me like no other dress has hugged me, treat me like no other dress has treated me, then I'm gonna need to have you. So this is this glorious, like knitted, Balmain sparkly mini dress. She has like a, a V going on there. She's got a gold zip all the way down the back. So this is in a size 36. Oh my gosh, you will not believe the deal I had on this. The full price, was $2,295. Guess how much I paid? Guess how much I paid? I paid $600 for this bad girl. Hmm. And then afterwards, because I was like still looking around for other stuff, I saw a woman eyeing it up on the rack and I was like, if you try to come near this, okay, there's only one left and it is in my size and she's perfect and she's an incredible deal. It's about to go down. So the way I was like looking at this woman like, you dare, I wish a bitch would. Truly. The last couple of things are kind of like accessories, kind of non-clothing items. So I forgot to mention in my What I Got For Christmas vlog, the Louis Vuitton sunglasses that I got at the airport. You know, get me that VAT off at 17%, you know? These are the 1.1 Millionaire sunglasses, again, from the men's section of Louis Vuitton. Wow. If the Fendi sunglasses that I got for Christmas are one of those like, don't touch me, I'm famous glasses, then these are don't touch me, I'm rich. This just screams that I have a yacht docked off of Capri. On my holidays, I buy art pieces, you know? You know, that is just this vibe. Look at this, monochrome look, white sunglasses, like, ex excuse you, do you know who you're, who you're addressing? And that is really like, what a vibe to have from a pair of sunglasses, you know? Okay, so the last, the last two items I got from Bond New York, okay? And if you don't know about, Bond number nine, sorry. If you are just bougie as hell, you need this in your bag, okay? What is she? Are you still questioning me? What is this? You ready? Wow, wow. Okay, so this is in the shade Hudson Yards. Um, it's basically the nudist nude that they do. It's like a pinky nude, love her, very easy to wear. Um, I believe it, uh, it's a cream lipstick, it's not matte or anything. And just like, just listen. Mm. 
that magnetic closure though wow this just like hanging around in your bag like oh uh, wait a moment i need to touch up my look why is this like some james bond level stuff you know like this is like i'm a sod in spy i don't know taser you with my lipstick i don't know i'm just loving it what a, i mean and what a fabulous memento of my trip to new york and then the last thing i bought from bond number nine was a scent <sighs> When I smelt this, I was like, yeah, I'm getting it. That's fine. Yep, yeah, thank you very much. So this is the 50 ml. I need to describe to you the scent before I then tell you what it's called. Glorious bottles. All the bottles are shaped like this. Just like, it just smells like sweetness mixed with a sexy man's cologne. It just smells like, do you wanna? So this is called New York Nights. Like sexiness and just fabulousness and just unapologetic opulence. Wow. If there is anything that this channel is about, it is unapologetic opulence, okay? So there we go. If there's anything in here that you want me to do a more detailed video on, let me know, okay? What was your favourite things that I bought? What also, let me know if there's anything that you'll actually, I'm not a huge fan of that, but like go off sis, okay? Guys, I will link to my shopping vlog video here in case you haven't already seen it. Have an amazing morning, afternoon or evening wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.